Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed ad meditation part of pharmacy management system project. If you have not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to work on view medicine part. So let us start with that. Let me exit this application and let me create a new JFM home for that. So here we have to write view medicine. Click on finish. You can see a form has been created. So it's 50 500 size. Let me also close this one and let me put a label over here. And here let me rename it as view medicine. And then we need a button. So let me place the button. Okay. So we have generated the event for now. Leave it. And here we have write close dot png. Remove the text. Close. And here we have to write this one and let's place it the corner of this one and we have to increase the size of this one so let's select this one make it in bold and we have to make it as 40 uh, 36 and okay and close this place it center of this page and now we have to put a separator over here so i'm going to drag and drop separator and i'm going to stretch this one to the max of this page you can see now we have to place a table over here so i'm going to get the table from swing control and let me decrease the size of this one and width let me increase to the max of this form almost and let me check out the okay it should be 500 and after that let's put a label in the bottom and let me write here Click, click on draw to delete medicine. We have to display this message and we have to make it as bold 12. So I'm going to make it as bold 12. Okay, close this. Place it perfectly to the center. And now we have to change in the table content. So I'm going to click on table content. I'm going to remove all these columns. So after that, we are going to columns fields and here we are going to change the name and the first will be ID and the next field will be medicine ID, ID and after that next will be name and after the name company name and after company name the next will be quantity. And after quantity, the next field will be for price. Then we have to close this one. It will rename, you can see, and save this. Now we have to change the layout to absolute layout. And we have to place a label over here. Going to the properties, I'm going to select all page background.png image. I'm going to place it perfectly on this JFrame form. Let me place it over here. Double click on this, remove this one save this one and let's write the code to hide this page so set visible and i'm going to write here false now we also need to generate the event so that uh, we are able to load the button whenever any page whenever this page is getting to open so go to the design here you can see there's a geoframe option is visible go to the properties uh, not properties sorry go to the event and component and component show event generate event for that and inside this one we have to write code and here we have to write default default table model this one we need to import and here we have to write model is equals to we have to write default model and j table one dot get model this one and here we have to write try catch block suppress the exception and here we write exception we also need to display so g option pan dot show messages null and we also need to import my uh, sql actually so java dot sql dot asterisk and in the view medicines over here we also need to write one line that set 
location relative to null. And now let's get back to the our component form component show in the try block. And here we have to write we have to first create the connection. So connection con is equals to connection provider class. So connection provider class that we are going to import it from DAO package. And after that, we have to create the statement. So statement st is equals to con dot create statement. After that, we need result set. All this is equals to st dot execute query. And in this, we need to pass the query. So select a star from medicine, this one. And after that, while rs dot next, next. And here we have to write model dot add raw. And we have to write new object. And in this rs dot get string first that will be medicine underscore pk and rs dot get string and we have a right unit id so unit id rs dot get string name and rs dot get string name company name rs dot get string and here we write quantity rs dot get string string and at last we have price save this let me show you the complete line so rs dot get a string medicine id first we are taking after that unique id then name then company name quantity and then plus price life at the last so we also need to connect this page with our pharmacy dashboard so go over here and click on view medicines and here we write new view medicine dot set visible and then write it true let me run this and let me click on view medicines you can see we are able to see over here and we also need to remove this mean max close button from here so let me exit this application let me click on med medicines and go to the design then go to the navigator right click on this go to the properties and here we have to click on okay sorry in the view medicines actually we have to go right click on this go to the properties and here we have to click on and this one and close this now we have to write the code to like whenever any user click on a particular raw then we have to display the um, confirmation message that do you really want to delete so for that purpose we have to generate an event right click on this table and mouse click the event this one event we have to generate inside this one we have to write index is equals to j table we are getting the index of creating selected raw and we have to write table model 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 is equals to j table dot get model and after that we are going to get the id so the string id so model dot get values right and here we have to write index and we are getting, getting the primary key from zero index and it should be in two string form and int a is equals to j option pan we have to get show the confirmation message dialog and we will write null and here we have to write do you want to delete this medicine we need to display this message and then we have to write here select and then g option pan dot yes or no option 
yes or no option and if if a is equal equals to zero in that case we need to delete it so for that purpose and we also need to put try catch so that to suppress the exception of case so exception and we also need to display if any error occurs so the option pan dot show messages dialog null and in the try block we have to write we have to first create the connection so connection pawn is equals to connection provider dot get connection missed for all this one and here we have to write the third statement yes is equals to pawn dot prepared statement and here we have to write delete from medicine where medicine underscore pk is equals to given id right so here we have to write yes dot set the string and here we have to write one and id and ps dot execute execute update this one and g option pan will show messages oh, sorry not confirmation message where we just display the message so i'm going to write a null and here we have to write medicine deleted success full and here we write set visible and false and the new visible will be the same page so view medicine dot set visible going to write true so the coding part of this page is also completed so let's test it out it work when we are having any issues so if i go to the view medicines you are able to see only one 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 so i'm going to add one more over here so one zero one and name this this time i'm going to write company name test right here 200 and then you try to 50 click on save add it close this one okay it's uh does not closing it okay there's a one issue i found in add medicine go to the add medicine double click on save button go to the down of this page so here we have to change this one to set visible to false and let's get back to view medicines okay pharmacy dashboard and start the page again and now we have to go to the view medicines you can see we are able to see the two different uh, record so if i click on this one you can see we are getting the message if i click on no it will not do anything if i click on yes you got record medicine will be successfully if I click on OK, you can see that record has been removed. So it means that view medicines is working fine as expected. So I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel.